I'm not normally one to squirrel through my indirects, but I was sent a tweet thread by Charlotte. Hi Charlotte, who had got loads of people to vote on my top 40 outfits from the worst to the best. But I thought it's only fair if we're gonna find out what the peak Philly outfit is, we need to find out the worst. I straight up asked you guys to roast me. I tweeted, tell me what my worst outfit is. And I got a lot of tweets, so. I think this is gonna be fun. I'm slightly scared, but I brought this upon myself. It's all in good fun. Don't feel too offended for me. I deserve it. I'm opening the twits. All right, here we go. Phil, I know you were making a statement here, but your jumper looks like Clifford got it on with the Dalmatian. <laughs> <laughs> Not in a good way. That is fair. How can Clifford get it on with the Dalmatian in a good way? Do I want to know? No, I do look like a possessed ladybird. Whenever I saw friends wearing that, they'd be like, wow, that's a choice, Phil. So that went straight to the charity shop and it's probably still <laughs> hanging on a rack. I will chop off my left tit <laughs> if, you <laughs> if you wear this again. Hey, that was viewers pick my outfits. That was on one of you guys. So, sorry to your left tit. Oh, Chloe, the owl jumper, especially the eye placement. No! The eye boobs. It's so obvious now. I walked around with that like, yeah, I look so cool in my owl shirt. Just having an animal on my chest when it's like, boobs. Also yeeted that one. Babe, you look like a tampon. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like that top. Really? Do you think I look like a tampon? Okay. Well, I might wear that again, so sorry. It's still in the rotation. Oh no, I've talked about this picture before. Why does it get more and more cursed whenever I look at it? Harry. I love the hair upgrade, but I was never really a huge fan of this tinfoil shirt. I feel a better use of it would be to wrap it around a burrito. <laughs> I still have a bit of a metallic phase, okay? I like shiny things. I'm like a magpie. Your shirt looks like a robot's butthole. <laughs> I mean, a robot's butt would be quite pleasing to look at with your shiny metal. Am I just outing myself as a robot furry? A rob- I'm sure there's a word. A robosaur. Robosexual. But yeah, I'm still gonna get shiny things. Soz. Sorry, Phil, I know this is iconic Avengers, but you look like you cut up a cinema carpet and made a shirt. <laughs> Fair, but cinema carpets are pretty iconic. And this Marvel t-shirt leads us very well onto the sponsor of this video, Square Enix. Again, can you believe it? The makers of Final Fantasy are sponsoring me. So they held their summer showcase event recently where they previewed loads of new games, including, related to Marvel, Guardians of the Galaxy. And if, like me, you've not hung out with anyone for ages, this game looks perfect. You can just hang out with all the Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I've got Dan, but he's no Groot. You know what I mean? I'm also so excited for the Final Fantasy Pixel remaster for the first six games. I've never played the first five Final Fantasy games, so that is gonna be me for the next five years. I mean, excited is an understatement. This house has its own Final Fantasy shelf. It's that important. Something else that tickled my pickle was Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, a battle royale in the Final Fantasy universe. It's gonna be on mobile devices. I'm probably gonna play it so much my fingers will turn to seam. So if you wanna check out the Summer Showcase, I put a link below and maybe I'll fight you to the death in the battle royale. Let's get back to the roasting. When your mom buys you jeans too big saying you'll grow into them, there are some baggy jeans. Maybe I just wanted to shove some geese up there. If Harry Styles stylists saw the styling of his style, which they styled, <laughs> they would retire. I mean, those pants were way too see-through. I should have swapped with Harry. I'm sorry, but the pattern at the top of this top makes it seem like you found a random ugly rug and decided <laughs> to badly cut some of it out and then glue it to the shirt. It just looks horrendous. Why did I buy that? Why did I have an entire shop in front of me and think, wow, yes, Phil, I'm so sorry, but bestie. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you look like you ate yogurt without a spoon and would bark randomly in the middle of class. What the F? Why, why am I wearing a shirt underneath that golf jumper? What? I don't know. I don't know. You look like you would be the newest twink TikTok boy. Yeah, that, what? I don't know. Why? I don't think I was flashing my abs. I think I was just caught in a... Caught in a moment. <laughs> Caught in a moment. The length of these shorts haunts me. Shorts. Shorts. <laughs> shorts. Uh, they are shorts. Oh my god. What is going on? The weird thing is they're not three quarter length. They're like two thirds length. Oh, these are a bit shorter at least. Jorts derogatory. Who let you think that wearing jorts is acceptable? I've learned my lesson. They don't teach you that in school. I mean, I'm wearing shorts now. Wait, are they okay? I'm wearing these for ventilation because it's hot, not for fashion, okay? I didn't think you'd be looking at my... Nether regions. Uh, is there something we should know, Phil? No, I, I, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what they mean. <laughs> Cosplaying as bagpipes is never the way to go. Look, I love that shirt. I don't care. I'll fight you on that one. Something about those shorts just seems off. Come on now. <laughs> no, that's a fully natural photograph right there. This bomber jacket makes you look like a preteen American rapper 
doomed to flop after three months. Why am I pulling that face in the photo as well? I'm like, come sit next to me on the bus. I mean, those bomber jackets was a big thing. They were the shiz in fashion for a moment. So I think for the moment I look good, but I kind of see where you're coming from now. MLF mania, you're right. I mean, there are no words <laughs> for what's going on there. I can't believe I actually walked into the BBC wearing that. I don't know where the I love my butt cap came from, but I'm all for body confidence. Love your ass. I don't know, man, but this shirt was not it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't attack. Hey, I think that would be fashionable now. It's a bit cottage core, isn't it? Get the dungarees out. I'd look well good. This scares me. You look straight and scary. At the same time, this is a very gay photo. Yeah, I really like the breaking down of stereotypes in this, proving not all gay guys have good fashion sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, gays. I let you down with that one. Okay, there was one outfit that I got roasted for the most, more than anything. But before we look at that one, I thought we could look at the top 10 from the votes of my audience. There were 390 votes in total, technically two ties for the top 38. Let's go! Number 38, the Wolves jumper. Oh, that jumper fills me with a lot of anxiety because I wore that for the first ever radio show. Probably one of the most terrifying days of my life. I mean, look at me. I'm shaking in my little boots. That's kind of cursed for that. Random symbols, tabbing off cover t-shirt. Deserved last place. This t-shirt is hideous. I hate it. <laughs> well, I'm glad I immortalized it on the front cover of a book, Charlotte. That's great. 34, looks like something a nine-year-old might wear, but Phil makes it look good. Thanks. Yeah, I did get quite a few tweets roasting me about that one, saying I look like the American flag, but I understand. Right, we're gonna zoom to the top 10. 10. Good vibes shirt. That shrunk. It's now a crop top. So <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a real fashion moment if I wanna wear that again. Nine. The red jacket. I feel like it would be sacrilegious not to wear this on the Interactive Introverts tour, you know what I mean? Eight. Bright future. Why is this so high? I was about to say t-shirts with random phrases are a bit lame, but then I'm sat here with London just <laughs> on my shirt. That's London Pride though. You can't laugh at this one. Gays and stuff. Seven. Zippy jacket I get, because that's like snazzy jacket. I did get laughed at for having all the zips on it though, because it's got like 27 zips on it. Katamari hoodie, I only wear when I'm ill. Six. Red checkered shirt, that's a good staple of mine. I always feel confident wearing it. And I feel like, I don't know, it makes me have broader shoulders for some reason. And I'm always like, plaid shirt, I'll chop down your tree any day. Mate. Five. Vibes. It's so gay. That's got a place in my heart because I came out to you guys wearing it and there was a lot of gay vibes. And there have been a lot of gay vibes since. Four. I kind of hate that now. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. When I got it, I was like, yeah, this is great. I look so cool. And now whenever I put it on, I feel like a giant marshmallow. So something's happened. Okay, here we go. Top three. Tree. Acid wash denim jacket. I like the fan that Dan... Fan. I like the fan that Dan has shared this one. I don't actually know if I own that or Dan owns that. I think I've just stolen it from Dan and it's now mine. Ta-u. Purple striped jumper. That is a bold choice for number two outfit that I own of all time. Bill in purple looks so good. Do I? I'm gonna buy some more purple stuff. Purple era is rising. Okay, number one. I don't know what it's gonna be. Can I guess what it's gonna be? I'm hoping it's frog core because that's the most iconic thing <laughs> I've ever worn. What you've all been waiting for. Number. Wound. Ooh, blue denim jacket. That's nice because you know what? I feel the most confident out of all my clothes when I'm wearing that denim jacket. I don't know why. Whenever I wear it, I'm like confident, feel engaged. I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna walk down the street. I'm gonna smile at that cute guy in the coffee shop. I'm gonna say hi to your dog. I'm Phil. I wear a denim jacket. So yeah, I'm happy that I discovered <laughs> confidence through denim jackets. Maybe Dan should have had a chapter of that in his book. Phil is a denim jacket gay confirmed. I am and I'm proud of it. Thank you for that thread. I'll link it below if you want to peruse it at your own leisure. And now on <laughs> to the worst outfit of all time. What was my biggest mistake? This <laughs> Teen Awards look where I dress myself and it looks like I did it in the dark. It was such a huge mistake. What was I thinking? What, what? There's so many problems with this. First of all, my hair, wow. But the shirt, it doesn't go with the jacket. The jacket doesn't fit. The belt is to the side. The pants don't match the suit. Those shoes were a crime against humanity. If there's something about me, I don't know how to dress to anything formal. Award shows, weddings, I, I, don't, I don't know. Suits never fit me, they're either too big or too small. I feel awkward, so I start doing the hand thing. It's just generally a bad time. Pin off DMP summed it up quite nicely. I can't even speak, neither can I. I, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. These pictures haunt me. Do you know why? Because someone made a freaking unofficial merch cardboard cutout and people have this in their house as a full-size Phil standee. I can never get away from it. And then someone pointed out, 
<laughs> Which I think is true that there is a coffee stain on the shirt and then they printed <laughs> The shirt with the coffee stain on the cardboard cutout. So yeah, that's really cool and great and I'm glad it's in the world. You look like a 13 year old who was forced to dress nice for a wedding. <laughs> That's it. Well, I feel thoroughly roasted. It's what I asked for. Thank you. So a lot of those points were very valid, but clothing is subjective. It's a form of art and you might love something. You might hate something else. But I think if you're wearing something a bit out there, you're feeling confident. If someone's giving you a side eye, who the F cares? If you feel good in it, you feel happy in it, that's what's important. So I'm just gonna keep buying the random <laughs> outfits that I want to wear and you can keep roasting them all you like. So thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. If you want to watch my last video where I swallowed some glue, <laughs> click that. You can subscribe, follow me on all my social medias if you want some more occasional bants. Uh, make sure to check out Square Enix's summer showcase by clicking the link below. I hope you're having a good day and I will see y'all very soon. Goodbye.